Do affirmations influence the quantum field? Feedback we got on the article from Joe Dispenza. Infecting the quantum field by starting the day with an intention of what you want to create, experience. Is this similar or aligned with a primary? A primary is single specific of what you want to create. Where is the method of how he creates his day? seems less specific. Are doing affirmations similar? Does all this contribute to infecting the quantum field? What is the quantum field? The quantum field is basically the sum of all waves of possibilities. Everything consists of energy and therefore produces a wave. All these waves together interfere with each other and create new combinations of waves. Sometimes particular waves increase in their amplitude, getting bigger, and sometimes waves completely disappear. Therefore yes, everything contributes to infecting the quantum field. Actually, there is nothing you can do not to influence it. Every thought, every feeling, and every action has its effect in the quantum field. What are affirmations? Affirmations are frequently repeated spoken words. For example, I say to myself every day, I am healthy and fit. What effect does this have on the quantum field? I think the result depends on the state of consciousness. Imagine you are standing on a lake and there is no wind or any other influence whatsoever. If you observe the surface of the lake you will see it absolutely calm. Then throw in a small stone and you will see the waves it creates. If you look closely you could see the waves spreading out over the complete lake. Now imagine that the lake is filled with hundreds of boats. There is wind and you threw the same stone into it. Can you even recognize the ripple it makes? Probably the same is going on in your consciousness. If you have too many thoughts, feelings, and other things going on the extra little wave you create will immediately disappear. What is a creation? In quantum physics terms, a creation is the collapse of a wave function into a particle. Out of infinite possibilities, you are focusing on one single wave and this wave is collapsing into a particle, and appears therefore in space and time. Consciousness creates a subject and an object at the same time. It is the birth of duality. As you can see on one level, you create, and on the other level, you just observe something that was always present as a possibility. However, the domain in which you create depends again on the state of consciousness you're in. What is attention, intention and focus? Attention roots in the Greek word attendir which means towards something. You could compare this to a radio. You tune in on one channel, on one frequency. There are all frequencies simultaneously present but using your attention selects one frequency out of many. In quantum physics, attention is the observer. That means your attention already collapses the wave function of possibilities and creates reality. Intention refers to one's motivation. It in no way implies force or involving your will in the outcome. Two important variables are attention and attitude. Focus refers to be fully engaging in the present moment. The ability to observe without attachment contributes to the outcome. In quantum physics, we know nothing happens that isn't first observed. From my experience, I would say intention works best when it comes from a natural place. What do I mean by that? A natural place would be a unique quality 
or gift you have. It is something that interests you without forcing yourself. So focusing your intention on what you can do with your gift would work far better than focusing on getting rich. There is nothing wrong with getting rich of course, but for most of us, this intention would come more from fear and not having enough. Therefore, it would be driven by force and not by power. Power is natural, force is artificial. Power is always there, force needs to be created constantly to be effective. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe.